On August 21st, President Trump said he was authorizing his generals to deploy more troops to Afghanistan. And America's war in Afghanistan began in October 2001. And now let's put that in perspective. The youngest soldiers who could currently be deployed to Afghanistan were two when the conflict began. 16 years. That's how long the war in Afghanistan has been going on. It's the longest conflict in U.S. history. Longer than World War I, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. But for most Americans, the war's been going on in the background, 7,000 miles away. It's become a sort of status quo, but the war in its length shouldn't just be taken for granted. Because 16 years is a long time. It's enough time for the world to change in completely unpredictable and transformative ways. And to consider those changes during that time span, those 16 years of war in Afghanistan, is a reminder of how insanely long this conflict has been going on. So consider this. <laughs> There was no iPhone or Android when the war began. Mass market camera phones didn't exist. Few people cared about data because text messaging and streaming were not really a thing. In 2001, there were no GoPro cameras, Xbox consoles, Kardashians on reality shows, or Super Bowl trophies in the New England Patriots trophy case. Today, there's five. Good work. 16 years ago, LeBron James was in high school. Stephanie Germanata was years away from adopting the name Lady Gaga. Drake was playing a wheelchair-bound character on a teen television drama, and now... 16 years ago, there were zero Marvel Universe movies. There's been 16 since then. The popularity of avocados in the US has nearly tripled. Thank you, guacamole. Facebook hadn't launched, MySpace hadn't launched, not even Friendster had launched. The stock market has more than doubled, even though there was a financial crisis and a housing bubble and a bailout of some of the world's biggest banks. And in those 16 years, public opinion has changed. Back in 2001, 35% of Americans supported gay marriage. By 2016, that number rose to 62%. Support of marijuana legalization is also up. The percentage of Americans who attend religious services is down, and public opinion about abortion is pretty much the same. The United States population has expanded by nearly 40 million people. And the world's population has expanded by over a billion. Over two billion babies have been born and approximately 900 million people have died. All that and a whole lot more has happened in these last 16 years, while this war in Afghanistan has been going on. And from 2001 to 2016, the US has spent $783 billion on security operations there. There have been as many as 100,000 American troops in Afghanistan in a single year, but that number started to decline in 2011. Now there are approximately 11,000 US troops. And then there are the dead. As of 2016, 2,371 U.S. soldiers, 1,136 U.S. allies, 3,496 contractors, humanitarians, and journalists, 30,470 Afghan military and police, 31,419 Afghan civilians, and more than 42,000 Taliban and other militants have been killed. And look, it's easy to forget this, to tuck it away in the back of your mind and treat it like something from the history books. But it's not history. It's happening now and it's been happening through all the monumental changes I just talked about. Through three presidential administrations. George W. Bush started it, Barack Obama escalated it, and now Donald Trump says it will continue as long as necessary. 16 years and counting. I'm Jake and this is Beam News.